Uh, who can tell me what are the, how many practical speech are there? Eight, sir. Eight speech. Eight. Eight. What do, what do they mean by parts of speech? What does it mean? These are words used in English to construct a sentence and the different roles they play. Different parts of speech. That's what it means. Like, what are the parts of speech? I think I know. Um, um, noun, word, um, conjunction, um, adjective, uh, preposition, um, what else? They are nouns. What are nouns? They are used in names of people, places, animals, things, ideas, and so on. And then the, the nouns can be common noun or proper noun. Proper noun. Is it a abishan? When I say abishan, is it a common noun or a proper noun? Um, I'm a proper noun. Sorry? I'm a proper noun. Proper noun. Why? Because it's a name. Name. Uh, if I say, if I say a table, is it a common noun or a proper noun? It's a common proper. noun. It's not anything unique. Okay. If I say Indonesia, is a common noun or proper noun? Indonesia is a proper noun because it's the name of a country. So, so you guys understand the noun, it can be proper noun or a common noun. Common noun is any common things, but proper noun is very unique name of a person, country, or things like that. And then... If you had a dog and its name is Laika, is it proper noun or a common noun? Proper noun. It's a proper noun because it's a particular dog with a special with a special name. So anyway, so and then what are the verbs? A verb is just something that um uh, it can be um something that you do. It's an action, something um, yeah. like uh, uh, what is action, sir? Speak, talk, or see, or watch, or they are all Running. nouns, uh, words. Yeah. Do you understand what a verb is? Yes, it, sir. She plays cricket every day. Dashina and Adol are go going. Going is are going yeah, to the movies is a verb, visited is a verb, and so on. Or did you have your breakfast? Have is a verb. And uh, what is a pronoun? Pronoun is what do you use instead of a proper noun or a common noun. Like instead of saying abishan, I say he went to cinema so that he is a proper noun. So what are the, sorry, he is a pronoun. What are the pronouns? I, she, he, it, they are all pronouns. What about an adverb? Adverb describes a verb. So if we said somebody went to school and then if we say he went 
very slowly to school, a school that slowly is an adverb because it described how did he go? Did he go by, did he go slowly or very fast? So it describes a verb. It gives more description to the verb. So therefore it's an adverb. What about an adjective? I know what is an adjective. Okay, what is it? An adjective is just a word that describes a noun. It describes a noun. Uh, if, we, if we say, this is a beautiful flower, that beautiful is an adjective. An adjective. Because it describes, describes a noun. An, a noun. So you, you know the eight parts of speech. And then last week, I asked you all to write a small paragraph about yourself. So, yeah. you all submitted. And because sometimes I'm not able to clearly read what is it you have uh, written because I think maybe some some of you have written with pencils or the, the ink is not clear whatever it is or maybe the when you scan the document it didn't come out well so it was very difficult for me to read but I tried my best to read as much as I as I can but if you if you, in future, please read, please write very legibly. Legible means very, that can be seen or uh, read clearly. So, so that can I, I write it with a pen, sir? And uh, make remarks for what is that we have written. Uh, so that I can give you individual feedback that will help you to learn more, better than what I'm going to do today. Because today what I've done, I've noted some something and then I'm going to discuss about them. Okay. Some, this is not specific. I didn't note the name, but I noted the sentences. Uh, in one of the sentences, it says, I from... In Sri Lanka, then Klinachi and in Sri Lanka. So when you say I from, is it correct or wrong? If it is wrong, if it is correct, how is it correct? And if it is wrong, why is it wrong? It is wrong. It is not? It is wrong. Well, why is it wrong? Because uh, you gotta say I am from Sri Lanka, not I from Sri Lanka. Because it's missing a verb. I am from Sri Lanka. Yeah. So you understand that I am when you when you say you have a subject, a verb, and an object. Am is a verb. Uh, so I am from Sri Lanka. Or you can say I am from Klinachi, comma, a town in Sri Lanka. So when you say I am from Sri Lanka, I'm from Klinachi, comma means you are describing more, giving more details about where this Klinachi is. It is a town in Sri Lanka. So when you say comma and write something, that gives more information about Klinachi. Tidia, you understand that now? Somebody, someone else wrote, I am from Sri Lanka, comma, down Jaffna. What's wrong with that? It 
is more correct. But then, when is I'm from Sri Lanka, Konya, a town, uh, it's a town Jackna. It should be town. Can you say it again, sir? No, somebody threw the road. I am from Sri Lanka, comma, town Jackna. How should that be corrected? It's better to write maybe I'm from Jaffna, comma, a town in Sri Lanka. You understand, uh, children? I'm from Jaffna, a comma, a town in Sri Lanka. In a, a, another person wrote, I am live in Indonesia, town. Uh, town Madame. I am live in. What's wrong with that? Um, um, you gotta know. I am from Indonesia. If you say I am, then the next uh, uh, word should be I am living. It's a present continuous. If you say, if you want to use the word live, then you say, I live in Indonesia. Indonesia, I should be capitalized. Not all proper nouns, the first letter should be capital letters. So you say, I live in Indonesia, or I am living in Indonesia, or you can say, I'm living in Medan, a town in Indonesia. So if you say, if you want to use I am living, that means it's present continuous. What are the three tenses we talked about? Present, past, and future. We did not talk about present continuous, uh, future continuous, and all those things. We will talk about them maybe in the next class. But you should say, if you want to use I am, then you should say, I am living. Otherwise, you should say, I live. So I live means I continue to live in Medan, Indonesia. Another person wrote, I want to become a police and doctor. <coughs> I want to become a police and doctor. What's wrong with that? Police is a collective, large, all those people who are in the police force. So what do you want to become? Is a police officer. One of the police officers. You, you can't become the entire police of. Uh, Indonesia or Medan or whatever, because when you talk about police, you're talking about 100, 200, 300, 500, 10,000 police officers. So you have to say, I want to become, or I like to become a police officer, or you say, I want to serve, I want to provide service in the, in the police force. So you have to say a police officer. And then you say, I, uh, I, I want to become a police and doctor. You, you can't say doctor, you should say a doctor. You can't really become uh, large numbers of doctors. You have to say you want to become a doctor, a police officer. Uh, so you know, doctor can mean individual doctor, but but police is does not mean individual police. Uh, police when you say police is a large numbers of people, it's a group now uh, name. But if you want to become a, a police, that means you want to become a police officer. Police officer means individual officer. A doctor, you can say 
Yes, it's a, it's a individual doctor. But then you have to say, I want to become a doctor. A means uh, the article a has to be there. A doctor. Another person wrote, well, a few of you wrote similar ideas. Either you work together or you discussed or whatever it is, all those ideas are similar. Anyway, I the discussing is okay, but ultimately you have to write your own thing. Because if you copy somebody else, it's called plagiarism. Plagiarism means you're copying somebody else's work or you are uh, copying from a book or from, you can copy from a book, but you have to indicate where you copied from. Otherwise, it's known as plagiarism and it's a very, very serious uh, mistake or serious crime even because people have been dismissed from universities, professors have been dismissed from universities for plagiarism, for copying somebody else's work and without saying where you copied it from. Copying is okay, but you must say where you copied it from, because otherwise it means it's your work. Without saying, I, I copied this work from such and such book, then you are claiming somebody else's work as yours. That is known as plagiarism. And that is a serious, serious issue. You should learn at this age itself not to copy others' work. You should uh, uh, write your own thing. I mean, you can discuss. Discussing is good because you are learning from your colleague. It's not teacher from learning from teachers and book are not alone. You should discuss from your fellow students as well. That's a good way of learning. So when you say my favorite fruit is apple, grapes, strawberry, and banana. First of all, you should say, my favorite fruits, because you are mentioning many uh, apple, banana, strawberries, and so on. So you should say fruits. Then you, can use, um, you should say, my favorite fruits are. On the other hand, if you want to only say one, you say, my favorite fruit is apple. If you say one, then you use the verb is. But if you want to say many fruits, uh, when, when you say oh. my fruits are, fruits are. Because you have, when you use a plural, it should be, the verb should be are. Plural favorite fruits are. Uh, many of you wrote my mother name or my father name. What's wrong with that? Or my brother name, my sister name. What's wrong with it? Is that they forgot to put My this. father's name. Mother's M-O-T-G-R apostrophe S. What is being right? M-O-T-G-R apostrophe S. Mother's. My yes. father's F-A-T-H-G-R apostrophe S. And that Amma in Udia Amma in Pair and Dal Tamil Amma in Pair English is mother's name. You have to put an apostrophe and then S to say that's a possessive uh, word for mother in Amma in Mother Udia Amma in Udia Pair is mother's Ma you can't simply say mother name or father name father's or mother's somebody else wrote 
I go to school on July. How was is it right or wrong? It's wrong. Wrong. Why is it? Why is it wrong? Because it, it a go is a present tense verb, so but it, you cannot use went because went is a um, like a past. Yes. So so they are she is attempting to say July is not there yet because we are still in June. So that means I will yeah. go to school in in July. Not on July. Or the right preposition is in, because in the month of July I'll be going to school. So I will go to school. When you are talking about, and we didn't go into the details of this thing, so it's a good attempt uh, to write this one. But the correct way of using future tense is I will go to school. And the preposition, right preposition is in July, not on July. It should be in July. In the month of July, I'll be going to school. In another person wrote, one of them are my older brother. Is it correct or wrong? Sir, can you say it again? One of, them, one of you wrote, one of them are my older brother. One of them are my older brother. I brothers. know. So I know what it is. One of them means is one person. So of it's supposed to be is. Among several, one of them. One one person, you are talking about one person among many. I know. One of them is, if, if it is one of them, then the correct verb is is. There is such a thing as subject uh, verb, uh, subject tense agreement. Anyway, we'll talk about those things in the future. But one of them, when you say one, even though one of them, the word them means is a larger number of people, then you don't say are ah, because the subject of a, one of them is one person. So one of them is one of the towns I visited is, is, not are. Ah. One of the towns I visited means is is not R, it should be is, because one of them is singular, not plural. Did you get that point? Why it should be is and not R? Because when, when you say one of them, you're talking about only one person, not, but the, that one person is from a larger number of people. In this case, he's talking about two or three brothers. One of them, is one person. One of them is uh, my older brother. I want to become doctor. What's uh, what's wrong with that? I know. We forgot A. We, we forgot A. Uh, A. The article. Yeah. Because when you say you can't become uh, just a profession. Doctor is a profession. But what is it you want to become is one of the doctors. I want to become a doctor. In Tamil, I doctor But English, it is one doctor that you want to become. So I want to become a doctor. I am live in Indonesia. So we talked about this some before. We if you if you start, I am. It's not that. That's not how you write it. 
you should say I am living, living. Mm. You should be present continuous. If you otherwise you can say I live in Indonesia. You I live in Indonesia is yeah. also present, but that's a present tense. But if you want to say present continuous, then you say I am living in Indonesia. Yeah. So, so I have a one younger sister. What's wrong with that? I have a one younger sister. So you either can say I have one younger sister or you can say I have a sister. Because I have a then er means the same, it's one. But you can also say, I have one younger sister, but you can't use a and one. Both are same almost. I have a sister, I have a younger sister, or I have one younger sister. Uh, many of you wrote somewhat like this. I am grade 8. What's wrong with that? Who can tell me what's wrong with that? So can you tell it again? Okay. M many of you wrote something similar to I am grade 8. Okay, subject album. What's wrong with that? Can you tell me again? I can't hear it. Okay, I am grade eight. I don't know, sir. Okay, condition. What's wrong with that? Um, you can say, um. I study grade eight. I am an eighth grader. Here you go. So you can be grade eight. Grade eight is a is a is a class. Yeah. I am grade eight. It should be I am in the grade the, eight. the word that is missing is the preposition. Preposition is the one that connects. Two nouns. You are. You can't be grade eight. You can say I am Satvika. That's fine because you are really Satvika. But you, otherwise, you have, you have to say my name is Satvika. But or you can say I am one of the students. So if you say I, I am grade eight, that means your name is grade eight. But that's not what he meant. You meant, I am in grade 8. I study in grade 8. So you say, I am in grade 8. Otherwise, if you say, I am grade 8, or I am grade 5, or I am grade 10, that means your name is grade 8, grade 9, or grade 10. But that's not what he meant. Because you, what he wanted to say was, I am in grade 8 or 9 or 10. Another person wrote, I am from Sri Lanka town, Trinkamale. Better way of saying is, I'm from Trinkamale, comma, a town in Sri Lanka. Because you are from Trinkamale and you are describing what Trinkamale is. So you say, I am from Trinkamale, comma, a town in Sri Lanka. So a town in Sri Lanka describes Trinkamale. Like that, when you want to use two places together, one is uh, a town in the in the country, because otherwise, 
I am from Trincomalee. I am from Sri Lanka town, Trincomalee. Uh, anyway, you can say I am from Sri Lankan town. Sri Lankan town means it's similar to uh, well, if we used mother's name, is similar to the Sri Lankan town. Trincomalee. Or you say I am from Sri Lanka, uh, more specifically from Trincomalee. Or oh, I am from Trincomalee, comma, a town in Sri Lanka. Because it's best to start at the lowest, uh, Trincomalee is within Sri Lanka. So it's best to start, I am from Trincomalee, comma, a town in Sri Lanka. Then you are describing that town, where, where is it from? Uh, and that is not in Indonesia, but in Sri Lanka. Most of you uh, make the mistake in father name, mother name, sister name, it should be father's name, mother's name, or sister's name. How do you make it uh, the possessive name? You put an apostrophe and then add an S to make it to say Amma Vinudia, Sahodari Nudia, or Nudia, Abha Vinudia, and the Solda Dede. Appa bear in the Tamil Salam. My father's name we say Appa bear. Appa bear bear in the Salam, but we say Amma bear. Amma bear. Appa ninga is a direct translate from making other than the possessive word varel. So you should say in English you say mother's name. Mother unu dudia. Amma unu dudia. M O T H E R apostrophe. Apostrophe is a common like thing you put above, not not at the same line as a line. You put above, that's called apostrophe. You can look it up in the dictionary what that means, apostrophe. Somebody else said, I would add, I think, I don't know, but I couldn't read that uh, sentence very well. I would add, become doctor. It should be, I would, I would want to become a doctor, or I would like to become a doctor. Uh, or you can say, I want to become a doctor. Uh, I would study for to become a doctor. I would want, there has to be another, when you say I would, there has to be another verb. So that verb has to be, I would want, I would like some verb like that. I would want, I would like. I would favorite language Indonesia. What's wrong with that? Indonesia is a country. It's not its language. So if you want to use uh, uh, because my when you say favorite language, it has to be the name of a language, not the name of the country. The Indonesian may be a way of saying it, but we know it's an Indonesian uh, language is known as Indonesian Basha language. Because Basha language is also spoken in Malaysia, I think. Malaysia and Indonesia so the one that you speak in Indonesia is Indonesian 
Basha. So, so my favorite language is Indonesian Basha. More specifically, because ba otherwise you can say I, uh, my favorite language is Basha, meaning either Indonesia or Malaysian Basha. But you specifically like Indonesian Basha, so you say my favorite my favorite language is Indonesian Basha. Okay. Anyone has a question about what we talked about or any other question? Anyone has any question? No, sir. Nothing, sir. So we can have a test on this issue now. Everything is clearly understood. Yes. You understand why we can't say mother name, father name, sister name? It's mother's name, father's name, or sister's name. And father's name is spelled as F A T H E R apostrophe S. Tamil we can say Appa bear, Amma bear, uh, Savodari bear. But in English, you have to say Appa vinudiya bear, Amma vinudiya bear. Means M O T H E R apostrophe S and then the name. One other thing I, I would like to say when you want to write, any so the question was write something about Q. You when you want to write anything, you have to ask who am I writing this for? It is from their point of view you have to put in the information. Uh you have done a good job in terms of basic things. I mean, that this is what uh, we expected, and uh, that's what you have written. But generally, you have to plan in terms of what material to write. So you want to give, you know, give your name, your country you are from, which grade you are in, uh, something about your family, uh, how long you have been living in Indonesia or Thailand. So from that point of view, you have done a good job. Uh, so that's how the thinking should go. What is it the reader would like? Reader means whoever is reading your uh, paragraph wants to know about you. There you are. If the reader doesn't, doesn't know, you can also say, I'm a girl and my name is, or I'm a boy and my name is Abishan. And I am in grade eight, nine, I'm 11 years old. I live in Indonesia or I live in Medan, comma, a town in Indonesia, uh, and so on. So any other comments or anything you want? Google it, I think you want to learn that kind of thing. Tamil, Tamil kind of thing. Okay, I didn't grammar in continue in the parts of speech, Tamil, and the tenses, but tenses, we only talked about past, present, and future, but we didn't go into the detail. Uh, we can do more on tenses. We can do maybe a story, uh, or we can do this um, uh, 
பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்பீச் சம் எக்ஸ்பிளனேஷன் உங்களுக்கு அன்டில் யூ கெட் திஸ் ஐடியா வெரி கிளியர்லி வி கேன் டாக் அபவுட் இட் வாட் இஸ் இட் யூ வுட் லைக் டு டூ என்ன உங்களுக்கு விருப்பம் அடுத்த story okay we will uh, we will come up with the story and then uh, do a little bit of grammar uh, and see how it goes grammar is important we are going to read the language sila playal enna enna language language than i live i live and so now you can leave it like that but other i am if you start i am then you have to say i am living You, you cannot say, I live, I am live. You, you, if you say, I am great, you cannot say, I am grade 8. That means your name is grade 8. You have to say, I am in grade 8. That in is what is known as preposition. Preposition defines a relationship with, between i am and in means you are in grade 8 okay so can we stop at that okay okay sir yeah thank you, see you guys uh, thank you sir thank you sir bye sir bye sir bye sir